Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got such a fun project for you today. This is a butterfly quilt and butterfly quilts are so popular and you know, who doesn't want a butterfly quilt? So let's take a look at this quilt behind me. This is made very simply. We use a strip set and we get to put it together and these butterflies just happen. So we've got three big butterflies across here by four down. Makes a great quilt. It's gonna make a quilt that's 67 by 78. So to make this quilt, what you're going to need is one packet of strips, and we have used Tigerfish by McKenna Ryan for Robert Kaufman, and it is just a beautiful line of fabrics. Of course, it's batik, and we love that. You're also going to need some background. You're going to need uh, two yards of background, and that includes all your sashing and this first border and your cornerstones. Um, for the border, they're six and a half inch strips, so you're going to need um, about a yard and a half for that. So it just makes a fun little quilt. The quilt, again, is going to be 67 by 78, so it's a really nice size. All right, let me show you how to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your strips, and you're going to sew them together, just like I have, in sets of threes. Now, a couple of tips on this. When you sew strips together, if you sew all your strips going one direction, it's going to bow. I don't know why that happens, but it happens sometimes. So I like to sew down one strip and up the next strip, and then it keeps them nice and straight. Once you get your strips sewn together, you're gonna to measure how tall they are. Ours come out to six and a half, and so we know that if our strips are six and a half high, we wanna cut them six and a half wide because we want to uh, we want to have squares. So I'm gonna fold mine in half like this, just like this. And then I'm going to bring my ruler over here and I'm gonna cut off my selvages. Now on uh, batik fabrics, you don't get very much salvage. It's really just barely there, but uh, I still like to cut those off and kind of straighten them up. Make sure your strip is laying straight so you have nice straight edges. And again, you're gonna cut them however wide, however tall they are, that's how wide you're gonna cut them. So ours are six and a half. We're going over here to the six and a half. We're gonna make a cut. Let me make sure. I'm gonna check, all of a sudden I had this panicky feeling. I better count. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Okay. Whew. If you ever have that feeling, just count it out before you cut. It's easier to, to cut uh, or to, you know, it's easier to look before you cut is what I'm trying to say. All right. So for each butterfly, you're gonna need four of these, and you're gonna end up with a little piece left. That little piece, we're eventually going to cut up and use for this first border here. See how it goes all the way around? And our little cornerstones in here. So uh, we wanna hang on to that. So then, once we have our four blocks, you need to cut your background pieces. And for ours, what we've done is we took our background, you're gonna need two and a half inch strips. So you could use a, um, a roll for this as well, but you're gonna need two and a half inch strips and that's gonna take care of all your sashings and your cornerstones. You're also gonna need some one and a half inch strips for the center piece down the middle of your butterfly right here. That's what pulls it apart and makes it a butterfly. So once you get your blocks all cut and you're ready to go, you're gonna need four for each butterfly. We're gonna sew the corners on. You're gonna take a two and a half inch strip. You're gonna need 17 of these, and then you're gonna sub cut them down into two and a half inch squares. Uh, and so you're gonna need eight two and a half inch squares for each block, and that'll all come out of your background fabric. So when you're ready to sew your two and a half inch squares on your block, you're gonna to wanna to iron the line or draw the line so that you can uh, sew them to the block like this. And I'm just gonna finger press these here really quick and we're gonna attach them to, to opposite corners. Now, you've gotta pay attention to this part because we have, we're gonna, they go on opposite corners so it comes together and looks like a butterfly. So right here, if I put all of my purples uh, going the same direction, they're all on this side over here, they're all on the left, you can see that these two are at the top and the bottom of the purple and these are at the bottom and the top of this, of this uh, last orange strip over here and so, this one over here, we have to match up. So you need two going 
two on this side and two on this side. I hope that makes sense to you. So let's go ahead and sew these down. We're gonna sew right on the line. Remember, if you iron or press the line, it is way easier to sew in the, the ditch of the line than it is to sew on top of the mountain. So lay it so that your, uh, your fold is um, in a, kind of a V, and then, and then it'll be way easier to sew. All right, so I'm coming around here to the other side. I've got these squared up right on the corner and I'm gonna sew right down, right down that line. And we're gonna trim them off and I'm just gonna use my little ruler and trim a quarter of an inch from that seam line. About, about a quarter of an inch. And then we're gonna press these open like this. And then you want to lay them back. I always like to make sure that I have them going, you know, I have them sewn on the right way and we're ready to put our block together. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring all of our purples together in the center. And so this is going to come together like this. And then these are going to come together like this. All right, and that's gonna make your butterfly. So now what we have to do is we have to sew these two wing sections together like this. So I'm gonna fold this one over like this, and this one over like this, and we are gonna sew on this side on both blocks. So again, we're just at a quarter of an inch. We're gonna sew right down the side. I'm gonna to try to line up my little white piece, my two white pieces where they come together. I'm gonna to try and match those up as close as I can. Let's start with this one right here. There we go. Oh, my little fabric came up over my foot. All right, now let's press these open. We're gonna clip them apart and we're going to press these open and this should make a nice little butterfly alrighty so now what we're going to do here's our butterfly from our background fabric we're going to cut inch uh, inch and a half strips and you should, you be able to subcut them. Let's measure this to make sure how big this is. I think it's like 13 and a half. Nope, it's 12. So you're gonna subcut your one and a half inch pieces into 12 inches, and that will go on the side, and you're gonna sew it to both sides to make the center of that block. So I'm gonna take this over and sew right down the side. I'm just gonna check this again to make sure. Yep, 12 inches. So I'm gonna take this over and sew it right down the side. And then I'm going to attach the other wing as well. Get my threads out of the way here. There we go. Make sure it stays lined up. Now I'm gonna attach the other wing like this. Make sure they're going the right direction and sew that on here. go. All right, now let's press this open and see what we got. <laughs> How fun is this? All right, pressing from the top, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to make these seams come in to the center. And, you know, any way you want to is fine. We're just making it nice and flat. Alrighty, and there's our butterfly like that. Isn't that cute? All right, now we're gonna put it together. And what we're gonna do when we put it together is we are going to cut 
uh, sashing strips to place in between our butterflies. The sashing strips will be the length of your block like this. So uh, this is a 12 inch block. Your sashing strip is going to be 12 inches and we can cut some of those right here to, just to show you. Let me put this this way. And it, you're going to sew the sashing strips just like we sewed that middle strip. So it'll be pretty simple. So there it goes right there. Right in between like that. And that's how you're going to attach your rows together. The next row that comes in right here, see? This, this strip is the same as this one. Measure across the bottom of your block. This strip is the same and we put a cornerstone between each one. Now let's talk about those cornerstones and that border because really what we're left with is a pretty good chunk of, of uh, fabric. You will have a few single strips left over if you want to cut your little two and a half inch squares from those. Now for the border, we went ahead and took our strip set and let's see, I don't remember exactly how wide I cut these. Oh, two and a half. I thought they were three for a second there. So then again, you're just going to cut from all your extra pieces. So every time you make a butterfly, you're going to have a little piece extra like this. You can just stack them up and you're going to cut. I'm going to clean off this edge right here because I got some things going on here, some craziness like that. And you're going to come over here and cut two and a half inches. And you're going to cut your whole other pieces and then you will just sew those together end to end to end like this. Mix them up and make one long strip. And that's going to be way longer really than you need to go around there. We had some extra pieces left. So this is going to go, you're going to have your sashing strips out here. This is going to be your first little border. We put another little white border and then our wide border on the outside. Now on the back we have some beautiful fabric also. Look at that gorgeous batik and we even quilted it with a little butterfly, a little butterfly uh, quilting pattern. Here's our little butterfly that swirls around and so it just makes it cute and ties it all together. So nice. So this is really a fun project. Easy to do, just straight strip sewing. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the strip butterfly from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.